Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received yesterday a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the success of the 2019 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. His Royal Highness the Premier hailed Bahrain's success in holding the 2019 F1 race, paying tribute to the global sporting event that highlights Bahrain's international sport standing and the development achievements made under the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He prayed to the Almighty to bless His Majesty the King with abundant health and happiness and to guide him on the path of success. In reply, His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to express delight in the success of the sporting event that contributes to boosting Bahrain's economic and sports standing. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received yesterday a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, marking the success of the 2019 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted that the annual world sports event reflects the unified efforts in all continuing the achievement and excellence and dedication for the homeland. His Royal Highness added that the 2019 F1 race contributed in enhancing the role of Bahrain International Circuit and its status as the main one for motorsports. His Royal Highness also underscored that the event has highlighted the capabilities and potentials of the kingdom and its people. In reply, His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, hailing his efforts and all those who contributed to the success of the Formula One race, which is a sporting and economic achievement that boosts Bahrain's standing at the international level. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa attended yesterday evening the finals of the 2019 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix held at Bahrain's International Circuit BIC amid a large audience of followers and fans of this world sport. Upon arrival, His Majesty the King was received by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister and the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King was accompanied by His Majesty the King's representative for charity work in youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Athletics Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Present were also senior officials and guests. His Majesty the King headed to the main hall of the BIC, where His Majesty watched the race competitions. On the sidelines, at the event, His Majesty the King received a number of senior F1 guests as His Majesty exchanged cordial talks with them, praising the deep-rooted relations of cooperation and historical friendship that link Bahrain with their countries. His Majesty the King received former Spanish King Juan Carlos, Sultan Ibrahim, son of the late Sultan Iskandar of Johor, Malaysia, His Royal Highness Prince Tunku Idris ibn Sultan Ibrahim, UEE Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Vice Chairman of the Zayed bin Sultan Foundation Al Nahyan Charitable and Humanitarian Organization, His Highness Sheikh Omar bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Zayed Foundation for the Disabled, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Zayed Al Nahyan, UEE Ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, in addition to Tatarstan President Rustam Minikhanov, His Royal Highness the Duke of York, Prince Andrew, Interparliamentary Union President Gabriela. Cubus Baron and Conte Antonio Balta. For their part, the Kingdom's guests expressed their sincere thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the generous reception and hospitality, asserting their pleasure in attending the sports event annually hosted and well organized by Bahrain. At the end of the event, His Majesty the King expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister for his sincere and fruitful efforts to enhance the status of Bahrain in the international sports events, affirming that the success of the race is in addition to the Kingdom's international sports achievements, thanks to the efforts of its people and their pioneering role in organizing and hosting the different sports events according to the highest standards. His 
Majesty the King also thanked all the organizers of the BIC, loading their national and outstanding role in addition to their keenness and providing all the facilities to the guests, stressing that their efforts have contributed in the success of all the aspects of the sports event. His Majesty the King noted the role of such sports events in strengthening relations of friendship and exchange of cultures between the world's peoples, affirming that Bahrain has been the meeting point of all cultures and civilizations, as well as a pioneering hub that embraces all on its land. His Majesty the King expressed his appreciation to the FIA, the participating teams, and the sponsors for their role in organizing the race, commending the winner's performance throughout the competitions, wishing the other teams better luck in the upcoming races.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Qurabiya Palace and the Secretary General Dr. Yasser Al Nasser delivered the following statement. His Royal Highness praised the royal statement of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa directed towards the 30th regular session of the Arab League summit held in Tunisia which was delivered by the Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak on His Majesty's behalf praising its content which calls for consolidating the Arab ranks and strengthening joint cooperation mechanisms. He praised the statements inclusion of status assessments and the emphasis on restoring security and stability to the region and protected from terrorism for its threats, security, regional and international peace. In this context, the cabinet welcomed the results of the Arab League summit, which affirms joint Arab cooperation. His Royal Highness praised the success of the 2019 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Pre 15th edition and what it represents, which is a successful demonstration of economy and tourism. Thanks to the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, adding to the success Bahrain is achieving in various fields. He asserted the government's keenness on raising the level of participation of small businesses in the national economy by providing them with the opportunity to support their role, improve their working environment and overcome the obstacles and challenges facing them. His Royal Highness briefed the Cabinet on the implementation of joint recommendations prepared in accordance with His Royal Highness's directives to support small businesses submitted by the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry and entrusted Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa to follow up on the implementation study in cooperation with the ministries and government agencies concerned. His Royal Highness ordered the payment of the receivable debts of small and medium enterprises in a number of ministries and to pass the payment of bills through the central financial system and start paying companies before the final accounts closing for the fiscal year 2018. The Minister of Finance and National Economy briefed the cabinet that in implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, 21 million dinars will be allocated to the payment of receivable debts of small and medium enterprises in a number of ministries, while His Royal Highness stressed the ministries complete those payments in accordance with the approved procedures. The cabinet expressed affirmation of the Arab identity of the Golan Heights, stressing that it's an occupied Syrian Arab land, expressing Bahrain's rejection of any measures that would compromise the Syrian sovereignty over the Golan. The cabinet approved a draft law on volunteering to serve public security forces and decided to refer the law to the Council of Representatives. The cabinet approved a memoranda of understanding between Bahrain and the United States, the first with the FBI on security cooperation and the second on benefiting from the experience of the National Museum of the U.S. in establishment of police museum in the Ministry of Interior in Bahrain. In light of the keenness of the kingdom to participate in the reforms and adjustment of the shares of the member states contributing in the World Bank, which lead to further reforms in the bank's systems, the cabinet approved the increase of the kingdom's contribution to its public share and selectivity in the World Bank. The cabinet reviewed the operations and activities of the tender board during 2018 and commended its achievements. The cabinet also took note of what has been achieved in implementing the development plan of the board. The cabinet approved a number of recommendations to facilitate the work of the tenders board, including that government agencies reduce changes and renew their tenders as much as possible, limit the cancellation of tenders that have been put forward, and that all government agencies focus on pre-qualification of suppliers and reduce the number of direct contracting tenders. 
The meeting approved the acquisition of 10 properties for the Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning for the expansion and development of roads in Adliya, Al Sihla, Al Janibiyya and Sar. The session approved renaming the National Committee for Combating Chronic Diseases and approved a draft law restructuring the committee. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the success of the 2019 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. He paid tribute to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his dedicated efforts to ensure the outstanding organization of the race, hailing the global sporting event as a landmark achievement which builds on other milestones in the era of His Majesty. King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. In reply, His Royal Highness the Premier received a cable of thanks from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, in which he commended the government facilitations and support under instruction from His Royal Highness the Premier to ensure the outstanding organization of the Formula One Grand Prix and another landmark milestone in the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Royal Highness the Premier with abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from Her Royal Highness the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women Princess Sabika bin Tabrahim Al Khalifa on Bahrain's success in hosting 2019 F1 Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika praised the remarkable development in preparing for international sporting events which reasserts the King capability in boosting its status as a major host of F1 race. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent a reply cable of thanks to Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika, highlighting the success of 2019 F1 Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix as a result of concert concentrated efforts to maintain the kingdom's leading status in organizing the international event. His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday participated in 2019 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix Award Ceremony. His Royal Highness presented the race trophies to the winner Lewis Hamilton from the Mercedes Petronas team, runner-up Viteri Bottas from the Mercedes Petronas team and third placed Charles Cleric from the Suderia Ferrari team. His Royal Highness congratulated the Kingdom on hosting another successful Bahrain Grand Prix noting that the race reflects Bahrain's ongoing efforts to drive sustainable economic development and secure a prosperous future underpinned by His Majesty the King's comprehensive development program. His Royal Highness praised the famous hospitality of the Bahraini people and thanked the hundreds of submitted staff and volunteers who continu continue to make the Bahrain Grand Prix such a success. His Royal Highness noted that since the F1 first arrived in Bahrain in 2004, the race has grown from strength to strength and Bahrain is now firmly established as the home of motorsport in the region. Reflecting on the race weekend, His Royal Highness noted that the enduring success of the Bahrain Grand Prix is a product of the Bahraini people coming together as one team Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted that the Bahrain Grand Prix has provided thousands of jobs to Bahrainis, delivered significant opportunities for businesses and consistently supported growth across the tourism sector, which is a vital pillar of Bahrain's economic diversification strategy.
During the race weekend, His Royal Highness welcomed international and regional dignitaries attending the 2019 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix and toured the track as well as other BIC facilities.
His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited Amazon Web Service along with the Minister of Youth and Sports Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad and met with the Vice President of the company's worldwide public sector business Theresa Carlson and Vice President of International Sales Max Peterson in addition to other members of the company. During the visit, His Highness affirmed that Bahrain has become a center in the region for multinational corporations thanks to its business-friendly economic environment. His Highness said that the efforts of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa have played a crucial role in attracting multinational corporations to the country. He said that Bahrain is keen on withholding its values of openness, coexistence and mutual respect as it carries out its plans for sustainable economic development. His Highness praised Amazon for opening a new office, which promises to accelerate the process of comprehensive development and wished the members of the company well. For his part, Carlson expressed her gratitude and appreciation for His Highness's visit and for offering generous support to the company. Carlson added that Bahrain represents a regional hub that will help Amazon to achieve its corporate objectives. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for the Kingdom's success in hosting the Formula One 2019 Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. His Highness Sheikh Nasser attributed the success of the event to the unwavering support of His Majesty the King and his keenness to attend the racing events, as well as the Prime Minister's directives to all the ministries and institutions of the Kingdom to cooperate in order to highlight this international event. Sheikh Nasser also cited the outstanding role and efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince through his constant follow-up that aided the success of the race and his keenness to personally follow up on the preparations of the race. He also added that the efforts of the Crown Prince have resulted in in a very well organized event. He affirmed that the Bahrain International Circuit has achieved its set goals and many gains for the kingdom. His Highness hailed the efforts of all the employees at the BIC and the race organizers and congratulated the BIC board members on the success of the race. The Tunisian President Qaid al Sibsi received the Deputy Prime Minister and Head of Bahrain's delegation participating in the 30th regular session of the Arab League Summit, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa. The Deputy Prime Minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and their wishes of abundant health and happiness to the President and their congratulations 
comments on the success of the summit. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak expressed thanks and appreciation to the Tunisian president for the generous hospitality. The course of Bahraini-Tunisian relations was discussed and the means of bolstering them in various fields were reviewed. The two sides also affirmed the necessity for implementing the summit's decisions and for strengthening joint Arab work. The meeting was attended by the Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmad Al Khalifa, the advisor to the Office of His Highness the Deputy Prime Minister Yusuf Mahmoud Mahmoud and the Bahraini Ambassador to Tunisia Ibrahim Mahmoud Ahmed. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak has departed Tunisia and was bid farewell by the Tunisian former Prime Minister and Special Advisor to the President for Political Affairs Habib Al Qaid and a number of senior officials in the Tunisian government. Bahraini Ambassador to Tunisia, members of the summit delegation and members of the embassy. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also departed with His Highness. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Deputy Prime Minister and Head of Bahrain's delegation, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak read His Majesty's statement at the 30th Ordinary Arab Summit in Tunisia yesterday. In his statement, His Majesty expressed his best regards to Tunisia's President Beji Qaid al Sipsi and wished him, the Tunisian Republic and its people, further progress and prosperity and development. His Majesty also expressed his thanks and appreciation for the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz al Saud for his efforts when taking charge of the previous summit's agenda. His Majesty the King's statement thanked Tunisia's president and its people for hosting the summit and wished the president every success in leading the Arab countries in the upcoming period in addressing and serving common Arab interests. His Majesty said that the Arab world is experiencing common threats and challenges in the present moment which require unity among Arab countries and calls for the development on common framework to address them through the resolutions of the summit and to achieve through these resolutions the shared objective of sustainable development through education, economic development, security and stability. On that basis, His Majesty said that the comprehensive and just peace in the region must come through solving the Palestinian issue and granting its people their legitimate right to establish an independent state that enjoys full sovereignty within the 1967 borders with East Jerusalem. Jerusalem as its capital, as per the Arab Peace Initiative as well as international law. His Majesty called for the preservation of East Jerusalem due to its enormous importance to Arabs and Muslims. On Syria, His Majesty stressed on the importance of preserving its unity, independence and stability, and securing the safety of its region. His Majesty also praised the international efforts that have pushed toward a political resolution there. His Majesty also stressed the importance of preserving the integrity of Syrian territories, including the Golan Heights, and rejected any foreign claims in this regard. His Majesty also expressed support for the efforts that aim to get rid of terrorist organizations and to oppose foreign and regional intervention, and affirmed that the aspirations of the Syrian people of security and development should be met. On Yemen, His Majesty said that the situation remains to be a source of concern for the countries of the region, especially in light of the Iranian intervention there and its direct support for the Houthi militias that is obstructing any attempts toward resolving the conflict, especially the recent Stockholm Agreement. His Majesty expressed support for the return of legitimacy in Yemen and preserving its unity and independence and stressed the importance of reaching a political solution based on the Gulf Initiative. On Libya, His Majesty expressed support for all efforts that push toward national reconciliation and rebuilding the state in order for the renewed state the face of challenge of fighting terrorism in all its forms which will preserve Libya's independence, unity and its safety and territories. His Majesty then said that the summit's agenda is full of very important topics, especially that pertain to fighting terrorism. His Majesty stressed on the importance of supporting international efforts in this fight and added that what is being done by terrorist organizations does not represent Islam or Muslims. His Majesty said that Iran remains to be the biggest sponsor of terrorism in the world, which does not only affect the security of the region, but also the world by interfering in the Arab affairs 
laws and supporting violent behavior and terrorist organizations which threaten the security and stability of the region. His Majesty added that Iran's development of ballistic missiles represents a breach of international law and represents a threat to the countries of the regions as well. His Majesty called for pressuring Iran to commit to respecting the sovereignty of its neighbors and the countries of the region. His Majesty also stressed the UEE's claim to its three islands, which are currently being occupied by Iran through international and legal means. His Majesty concluded his statement by praising the efforts of the Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abu Ghait. His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Hussein of Jordan received the Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa. The Deputy Prime Minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and their wishes of abundant health and happiness to His Majesty King Abdullah. The deep rooted fraternal relations between Bahrain and Jordan were discussed. The agenda of the Arab summit was also reviewed, where the unity of the Arab positions and solidarity in the face of common threats and challenges to the Arab countries and their peoples was emphasized. The Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmad Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. On the sidelines of the 30th regular session of the Arab League Summit, Deputy Prime Minister and the head of Bahrain's delegation, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, met with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas in the Tunisian capital. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister to the Palestinian President, wishing him abundant health and happiness and for the people of Palestine further progress and and prosperity. The two sides reviewed issues listed on the agenda of the Arab League session, mainly the Palestinian cause, as His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak asserted the support of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the rights of the Palestinian people to establish their independent state with East Jerusalem, its capital. The meeting was attended by Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. His Honor Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today bid farewell to the Crown Prince of Jordan, His Royal Highness Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II. Following the end of his visit to the kingdom, the governor of Muharraq and a number of officials also bid His Royal Highness farewell. Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Sozia bin Abdullah Zainal, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for the big success that Bahrain has enjoyed in hosting the 2019 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. Zainal said that this success represents yet another episode of successive accomplishments under the reign of His Majesty the King. Zainal also praised the efforts of the government to make this success possible and that Bahrain has once again proved to the world that it is able to host international events very capably. Chairman of the Shura Council Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Majesty, uh, His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for the big success that Bahrain has enjoyed in hosting 2019 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. Al Saleh said that the successful hosting of this event is due to the efforts of the leadership and the cooperation of the people of Bahrain. 
Bahrain. Al Saleh sent cables to the leadership to congratulate them and said that event proves to the world that Bahrain is more than capable of hosting such high-profile international events. Al Saleh added that the event allows millions of people from around the world to see Bahrain in a positive light, which comes to serve Bahrain's plans to boost investment, economic development and tourism. Minister of Information Affairs, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, Ali bin Muhammad Ali Al Rumehi, praised Bahrain's capabilities to organize and host the F1 Championship for the past 15 consecutive years, which have promoted Bahrain's prestigious standing as an ideal destination for tourism and investments under the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Information Minister extended congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister and Bahraini people on the success of the 2019 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. The minister noted that the success of the F1 championship since it was first launched in 2004, thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's directives and follow-up, which contributed to boosting Bahrain's standing on the international sports map and reflecting its bright image as a platform for peace and tolerance among people of different origins, cultures and civilizations. He took part in the comprehensive media coverage of the event and associating entertainment and commercial activities, praising the efforts of the National Aptitudes of the Information Ministry, National Communication Center and the BIC Media Center to organize meetings with visitors and facilitate missions of more than 500 media men attended to broadcast the event to various international media outlets. Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton won the Formula One Bahrain Grand Prix 2019. Charles Leclerc began the race in the first place but earned third place at the end. He gained additional points for achieving the quickest turn. The racing track witnessed a competitive atmosphere as Bahrain has succeeded in adding to its list of its consecutive accomplishments on all levels. This year also represents the 15th year since the first Formula One race took place in Bahrain in 2004, which made the country a key host of such races in the Middle East region and put Bahrain's name on the industry's map. All eyes were on Bahrain yesterday with the start of the much-awaited F1 race, which took place near dusk and finished under floodlights, where thousands of fans witnessed thrilling action both on and off the track. Enjoyed watching it on track, but I, I love what they've set up around around the place. Obviously, you have Martin Garrix Friday, Cargo Saturday. It's pretty, it's pretty impressive. An absolutely amazing experience. First Grand Prix. Um, my brother lives out here, so come for the Bahrain Grand Prix. I think they've done a really, really good show here. Hospitality's been brilliant and amazing. You, you see, you've, you've got the fair rides, you've got all the food for people, different areas. You had Cargo last night. Martin Garrix Friday night. No, but it's, it's, it's really good. Bahrain knows how to do a really good Grand Prix. Since its inception, the F1 Bahrain Grand Prix has marked one of the region's biggest sporting occasions and the whole country has once again been delighted to welcome teams and fans back to the kingdom. With another high turnout over the race weekend, the Bahrain Grand Prix has yet again raised the bar in providing thrilling racing and entertainment, breaking all records for race day and weekend attendance, which has risen by 33% since 2013, which reflects the huge growth in popularity of the sport in the region. This is day I, I, I plan to come this day from first and I plan to make this tour in this country. Really everything is nice, people is nice. Yeah, because you know, I watch before I come here this movie for uh, Formula, so I know everything now about this race. This game is really very interesting. Um, uh, interesting day, we had a good time. Um, the weather is lovely right now. Uh, the activities and the side attractions around uh, the grounds were, were good. And, uh, a lot of interesting uh, places. The race itself was uh, so far been really thrilling and exciting and it's always um, great to see the start of it and catch these amazing drivers racing on the track. 
The Bahrain Grand Prix was the second round of the 2019 Formula One World Championship and remains the key fixture within the F1 calendar, continuing to generate excitement both within the kingdom and around the world, and highlights Bahrain's ongoing commitment to delivering a successful sport event that contributes to boost Bahrain's economic and sports standing that benefits the kingdom far beyond the track. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.